This is my first Edinburgh Fringe. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, thank you so much. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this first poem, I would like a volunteer just to read four lines as the role of narrator. It's just simple. Yeah? Come on up. Okay, so says we'll read the role of narrator. Karen has been in a car accident and is severely injured. The witness calls their mutual friend, Boosie, descri describing what she has just seen. <laughs> oh my god, we'll see. Karen, she was bleeding everywhere, in front of everyone, like everywhere she's just lying there on road in front of everyone to see this bitch is moving mad can you imagine she had the audacity to try and limp <laughs> who the fuck limps jay of course the police turned up that was mad in itself they tried to arrest her but of course her being her she passed out so they had to hold her down and handcuff her i mean she wasn't even responding can you imagine they called her name numerous times, but she didn't respond. At one point, she had the audacity to stop breathing. Can you imagine? They thought maybe she might have physical illness. Like, before she passed out, her left leg and arm were limp. She didn't seem to have much control. Can you imagine how dangerous she is if her left leg and arm are broken? Her parents said it's the devil and they're praying for her. I mean, we all told her running wasn't good for her. Everyone knows running is bad for you. Even that skateboarding, boxing, football. And her weird friends in wheelchairs she started hanging around with. Oh my God, I told her she wasn't right from day. You know how she used to say her leg felt funny in school and she used to walk funny on it sometimes? Imagine if this is our attitude towards physical ailments, genetic disorders, life-threatening accidents, cancers, and even the celebrated childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so this poem is called Damaged Goods. Okay, starting now. I guess you're just damaged goods. All illusions of us, gently, resting, naked, in between sheets, cease instantly and succumb to a thunderous crash. Shane, Ronald, Ken, Dave, Ollie, or was it Scott? Other guy whose name I can't remember but I had drunken sex with. Oh yeah, let's not forget Shay again, or that guy who wrote me such a lovely text only to ruin it by ending it with the sentence, I guess you're just damaged goods. This was his response to my previous text in which I had just confessed that in reality I was probably likely to have a string of lovers and not really have a husband or a long term partner. Maybe be like Madonna and have me a string of toy boys in their 20s when I'm old enough to be their grandmother. I was a firm believer in the belief that it is unnatural for men and women to live together. I always prayed that one day I would suddenly wake up a lesbian. But no. <laughs> Somehow I had to give myself secret interventions and swear never to get drunk again and have to do the walk of shame from a guy's house wearing a sparkly black dress shimmering in the early morning sun as parents walk their children to school whilst the mascara is smudged, burning around my eyes and my bum practically hanging out for the small children to see. <laughs> Shoes dangling from my right hand with me walking barefoot, reminiscing on a similar scene in the dark of London streets where a man shouts across the road. You women! 
What can you do? You don't cook or clean. All you're good for is fucking. I guess you're just damaged goods. You see, his mixed race, or was it light skin, plays rugby or used to is hedge. Nice body. Either dad or mom, maybe even both parents are Nigerian. All the girls throw themselves at him, apparently. The first time I met him, he was throwing himself at girls. Begged my friend not to go home the next day. Promised to pay for a taxi to take her back. One has to mention that we were in a house party in Loughborough in the Midlands, a three hour long journey away from my friend's house who had come to visit me for the weekend, but he still insisted that they leave the party together, begging for sex. Went to three more girls in the same hour. I guess you're just damaged goods. The words went their way in again. Can you believe this? Lazy. Slumber, inhibiting, passion, might be mistaking it for anger convulsing, almost a gentle resolve, scanty reminiscence, female of a rebellious nature, debugging, unraveling, human fabrications, defying fathers, brothers, husbands. Frida Kahlo, Carol Ann Duffy, Tandiwe, Sanelisa, Michelle, the woman exiled from high society whose incrimination was to wear trousers in public at a time when every other woman was wearing a dress. Libelife, Abigail. How can I admit that I admired you most for what the rest scolded you for. Sacred altars to honour the gods of love. Ritual, sin, fornication, reproduction. In the dark of the night, light of day, tightly closed doors, toe curling, back arching, awkwardness. In the name of Aphrodite, or was it Venus? Sing, heaven, Dave, Vlad, Ollie, Ken, Ronald, Richard. No, but Richard was a QE. <laughs> Wait, how did I even get here? Oh yeah. Dear boys, I have slept with. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that my value as a living being on planet Earth was precisely relative to the number of different penises I had allowed to penetrate my vagina. Thank you. Okay. So, next poem is another audience participation one. So, if I put up my right hand, I would like for you to shout, I tell myself I am beautiful each morning. So, one, two, three. I tell myself I am beautiful each morning. Okay, shout it louder. Yeah. Okay. I tell myself I am beautiful each morning. Perfect. Initially, it felt numb. No warning, a small prick, scratching sensation. Remote separate from me, my head, space, mind, struck in place, the rest, floating close by. I tell, I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. It didn't feel like anything, couldn't feel, corrupted, made dirty, killed, in spirit, wandering aimlessly, not enjoying him, nor them. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. A stranger became my flesh, body, shape, feel, numbness, dirty, 
corrupted, unclean, empty. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. Didn't want to look down. Forgot about feeling. Forgot. Forgot. Let days pass by into months, rolling into years. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. Woke up each morning, gradually learning, sometimes fighting, slowly remembering. This is here, now, mine. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. A battle to place on and within delicate flesh. Scar tissue formed, stronger than before. Made whole again, having learnt to feel again. Having learnt to reconnect. When body hurts so much, it turns off feeling. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. Careful, compassionate, co coaxing. Sweet somethings told each morning. Good morning, Ibis. Today is going to be an amazing day. I am beautiful, intelligent, and phenomenal. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. The stranger vacated, returned my flesh, body, shape, feel back to me. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. Scanning my body with ease on a yoga mat. Deep appreciation sweeps my being at the ability to mentally scan my body. To feel the vibrancy, chitter, chatter, humming of life within my flesh, inside my body. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. A love that previously did not reside here radiates from within. A compassion drenched in understanding sweeps over me. Happy to have lived long enough to see today. I tell myself I'm beautiful each morning. Thank you. I don't know if you can hear me well or how do I turn this off? Me now, now, but can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Cool. I'm a bit high challenged to be that brave. I feel. <laughs> Or like, do you want to move forward? Yeah. Yeah? Would you like to move forward? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, a bit better? Or, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so this is my last poem and it is hashtag mood. Hashtag what booty, what booty, what? Janelle, Monet, Queen. Hashtag the booty don't lie. Hashtag electric lady. Hashtag stimela. Hashtag humor segela. Hashtag humor segela TED talk. Hashtag mainstream media is making us dumb. Hashtag George the poet, Rolling Stone. Hashtag the boy is doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. Hashtag, we are jazz. Hashtag rituals. Hashtag Ibei. Hashtag Oliver Mtuguzi and the Black Spirits live at KEXP. Hashtag morphic resonance. Hashtag, the gods must be crazy. Hashtag, Discworld series. Hashtag, Terry Pratchett. Hashtag Tina, please ODG. Hashtag Ubuntu. Hashtag communalism. 
Hashtag Miriam Mageba. Hashtag Cora Solo. Hashtag Chance the Rapper. Hashtag Chance the Rapper and the Social Experiment. Hashtag It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Hashtag Tunde Jegede. Hashtag African Classical Music. Hashtag Womanist. Hashtag even Jesus had to pass through a Panani. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> Stacey and Chin. Hashtag Horrible Histories on CBBC. Hashtag Destination Africa. Hashtag DJ Edu. Hashtag Buraka Som Sistema. Hashtag MIA. Hashtag Broader Than a Border. Hashtag Borders by MIA, hashtag Yala, hashtag typing old deeds with new keys, hashtag black coffee DJ, hashtag Southern Africa, hashtag Zimba, hashtag Debele, hashtag sounds like Isizulu, hashtag Thank you. Uh, so now we're going to welcome our special guest for.